good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on wherever you are. I'm here once again, your marriage counselor. My name is Felix Deborah Bolanle. I'm here to speak on part three of He is the One or She is the One. I've spoken about part one and part two. Can go and listen to it if you have not. This is part three of the topic He is the One or She is the One. I'm going to speak on five points quickly without wasting much of our time. Now, the first point is, he is a positive force in your life. If the person you are praying about, or the person you have in mind, if he or she is a positive force in your life, that is one of the signals from the Holy Spirit. He is the one. Now, what do we mean by becoming a positive force in someone's life? The person is giving you a backup, whether physically, spiritually, financially, socially. In all realms, he's giving you a backup. He is the one. He commends your efforts. He, he gives you kudos. He supports your visions and dreams. He always tell you, I trust you, I know you can do it. He's with you every time. He makes you smile. He always tell you, I love you. He's there with you. In all realm, he's a positive force. He never insulted you. He never embarrassed you. He never allowed people to insult you publicly or privately. He's the one. So, if he's there for you, he's a positive force in your life. Don't let him go. Now, the second point is that you, you have the same spiritual belief. If two of you, or the person you are praying about has the same spiritual belief with you, you are serving the same God, you are from the same religion, you have the same scriptural background, you have the same Bible knowledge, you, you are serving the same Christ, you know who God is, yes, you are good to go. It means somebody will not be taking it up and another, will be, another one will be pulling it down. No, because you have the same knowledge, you have the same understanding. You are from the same background. You are good to go. He is the one. He is part of the signal from Holy Spirit. Now, the third point is, He accepts you for who you are. He, 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 he never embarrasses you. He never insults you. Even when you messed up yourself, whether publicly or privately, whether in front of his own family or his own relatives or his friends, is there to cover you up. Yes, he is the one. He accepts you for who you are. He is always there by your side. She's always there by your side. He is the one. Whoever is covering your shame, whoever is covering your flaws, he is the one. Go for him or go for her. Never leave her alone. Then number four, he doesn't know how, if the person you are praying about doesn't know how to say, I am sorry. Please, Leave the person alone. It's part of the signal. Whoever you are dating or whoever you are praying about doesn't know how to say, I am sorry. doesn't know how to apologize when committing a mistake. Listen, a genuine somebody, a good partner will always say, I am sorry. He or she will learn how to apologize. But when it is difficult for that person, for him or for her to say, I am sorry, then he's not the right person for your life. Because the person will keep on frustrating you. We keep on disturbing your life. Before you know it, the marriage will not work. So it's better you run now. Run away from the person that doesn't know how to apologize. It, when I was teaching, there's a song we always sing. They said there are five magic words. Well, mag five magic words. Please, excuse me. I'm sorry, pardon me. Eh? There are five magic words. If those people did not, if that person did not know how to say those five magic words, it's better you run, please. Because there is no how, you will not have little, little misunderstanding. But you people must learn how to apologize. You must learn how to say sorry. But, what, but when a man is raising his ego, or a woman is raising her shoulder pad to tell you yes, 
I'm the breadwinner of this family, then there's going to be a problem. Don't go for someone that do not know how to apologize. Then number five is that he, he don't marry someone that is violent in nature. Someone that makes trouble everywhere, or every, everywhere he goes or everywhere she goes. Don't marry a violent person. Look for someone that is calm. Someone that is respectful. Someone you can talk to. Someone you can discuss with. Someone that will give you peace. Someone that you will remember and you will be smiling. Someone that you will remember and you will feel like seeing that person. This is the kind of person you should look for. Don't look for someone that makes trouble. That is trying to show that yes, ah, Kilombol, okay, Tileuba, I can fight for you. And see if he's telling you go and be making trouble. I will fight for you. No. Look for someone that is calm. Look for someone that has the spirit of God in him. Someone that can pray. Someone that is a prayer partner, not a prayer point. Someone that you will see and you will feel like staying there for a longer period. That's the person you should look for. Don't look for a troublesome person. These are the five points I want to tell you. And do you know, this is my conclusion about he is the one or she is the one. Be with someone who chooses you every day, not when they are in the mood. Did you hear what I'm saying? Choose someone or look for someone who chooses you every day, every time, every hour, not when they are in the mood. If you go for someone that chooses you when he or she is in the mood, then you are in trouble. These are the kind of people that will be giving authority in his place of work. And when he gets home, he will still be commanding you. You will enjoy that kind of marriage. You will just be enduring it. And Jesus said, can two people come together except they agree? You people must agree so that you can enjoy your marriage. Jesus created marriage. He created marriage so that we can enjoy our marriage, not to endure. So go for someone that will give you peace. Go for someone that will give you joy. Go for someone that will make you smile, that will give you happiness. That whenever you remember him or her, you will feel like calling. You will feel like seeing him or her. You will feel like going to that place or talking with the person. God bless you. These are the 15 signals. I want you to look at them. Listen and listen and listen and listen till you are satisfied. Holy Spirit will go with you. He will be with you. Never go and look for a prayer point. Look for a prayer partner. That two of you will be able to agree together in your various houses and pray and your problem will be solved. God bless you. Bye for now.